On days of our lives today, Bonnie is conflicted and feeling guilty. Justin and Xander cross paths, Maggie warns Chad, and Chad makes and accepts a startling offer. Alex tells Stephanie the good news through text before Brady, and they celebrate the contract with Yuri Kosnov. Alex offers nachos or something else when Brady declines to go for drinks. He is simply too happy to go home. Furthermore, nobody is really waiting on them. Brady says with a sulky, yeah, definitely not. Julie discovers Chad preparing the formal dining table at the Horton house. He wants to serve Stephanie dinner at his house. He expresses his gratitude to Doug and Julie for all they have done for him and the kids. They enjoy having them there, she assured him. They have provided solace. Julie observes Chad's absence of his wedding band when they join hands. She tenderly grins at him while having teary eyes. He kisses her hand and nods solemnly. Stephanie walks in, hoping that she won't be late. Julie claims to be on schedule. Xander and Chloe have beers and discuss their jobs at their apartment. Chloe wagers that Xander wishes he had accepted Maggie's job offer when he recalls the paper's poor readership figures. He doesn't since he gets to hang out with her all day. Chloe laughs. Maggie assures Xander that she is not offended since she understands that he must follow his heart. However, he had an odd meeting with Bonnie when he went to speak to her. As Bonnie sneezes on the couch, Justin offers her tissues. Bonnie, who has her hair pulled back in pigtails and is dressed in a robe, believes that God is punishing her for lying to Xander about Sarah's pregnancy. She appreciates that Justin has no trouble hiding the information from her. Even though Justin remains angry with Xander for what he did to Bonnie, he acknowledges that it is wrong to keep important information from his cousin hidden. Alex pours water for Brady and himself at Basic Black while he promotes their new collaboration. Brady simply hopes that after a few months, they won't want to murder one another. Alex shivers. Brady offers his regrets. He simply waits for the other shoe to drop to always come. A somber-looking Maggie walks in. She claims that Alex blew the deal that Titan had with Yuri as a middle finger on his way to Basic Black. Alex spits out, Yuri passed because Titan is a dinosaur, outraged. Maggie worries what Victor would think as they argue. Alex believes he would respect the initiative. Brady agrees, even if this is the first he's heard of it. The first to acknowledge that business is business is Victor. Maggie will keep that in mind as a reminder that she is a formidable opponent. Steve celebrates having the house to himself and Kayla by ordering two pizzas, each with their preferred toppings. Steve praises God every day that she came back to him as they feast. How fortunate he is still escapes him. Because he fought so hard to find her, Kayla is aware that it's not just happenstance, they always come back to one another. Stephanie believes her parents enjoy having her out from the house since she is by herself with Chad. Since Kayla returned, they have scarcely had an opportunity to get back in touch. She considers looking for her own place because she feels like the third wheel. Chad proposes they look for a place together because he was having the same thought. He desires to spend each night with her in bed and each morning next to her in bed. Although she thinks it sounds fantastic, she is concerned for the kids. Before speaking with the children, Chad will first acquire permission from their therapist. She would be pleased to move in with him if the kids are okay with it. Chloe feels Bonnie's odd conduct was related to her and Mimi from high school after hearing about Xander's conversation with Bonnie. Xander believes it has to do with Sarah, whom she just met. You should give it a day, Chloe says. Something else will have Bonnie in a panic. Xander casts a thoughtful gaze away. They kiss, put Bonnie's problem aside, and, agrees and decide to keep to Sarah's out. pregnancy a secret after remembering how Angelica concealed her pregnancy from him. He does not, however, feel good about it. He only hopes that when the truth comes out, things won't get too complex. Because Xander is now dating and residing with Chloe, Bonnie speculates that it might. She wonders if he would hit the brakes if he knew Sarah was expecting, but she won't break her vow because she made one. When she starts to sneeze, Justin rushes outside to the pub to get some soup. Steve and Kayla reluctantly sample each other's pizza at home. They decide to keep ordering two distinct varieties. According to Kayla, it's similar like marriage in that you sometimes agree. Sometimes you have to make concessions, and sometimes you have to let the other person make their own decisions. The key, according to Steve, is knowing which to do when. Kayla considers that to be resolved. Later, Steve can't stop brushing about how fortunate he is to have Kayla back. She describes them both as lucky.
they resolve never to take their relationship, family, or future for granted. Brady charges Alex with lying to him about Yuri at Basic Black. Alex offered to phone Yuri and break the agreement even though he didn't think it would matter. He is commanded to put down the phone by Brady. Maggie is his girlfriend, but this is work. Brady fears that this may turn into a protracted argument, but Alex is delighted to hear it. Maggie won't accept this kindly. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Daily Bulletin News, and stay with us.